got a quick video for you guys today. I told you guys I was gonna do it, and here it is. Is the X5 U4 in-ear wireless system still relevant? In my opinion, well, let me show you and then I'll tell you my opinion. Here we have the X5 U4 in-ear wireless system. All right, tiny little compact, tiny little compact in-ear system that is great for small churches, great for, for medium-sized churches. It is a, it's great for your pocket. It is definitely a budget setup. Um, it does have its pros, it does have its cons. We're gonna go over what those are, but in my opinion, it's really good. So, pros and cons first. One pro of this setup is its size. Obviously, it's wicked small. Look at it compared to my hand. Ooh, I just turned it on, sorry. Look at it compared to my hand, it's tiny. So it's very, it's a very out of the way system, very comfortable. The clip on the back is really, really, really sturdy, really tight, it's an all metal clip, as you guys can see. All metal, very sturdy. You have your on and off switch right here. It's okay, it could be a little bit more ro like robust, if that makes sense, like a little tighter when you flick it, but it's pretty good still. You have your volume knob, Right here, you have your channel buttons that you can flip through. Let's see how I can do this. You can see it flipping through my finger. Boom, boom, is it on? I like to keep it on channel five. That's just how it works for me. Had no issues so far on channel five, everywhere I go. Yeah, it works pretty good. You got your little headphone jack right there. That I like particularly, because if you, like you guys are watching right now, it is, it, it snaps in really, really nice and it's snug. It doesn't um, loosen up or anything. Another pro to it is that the other piece that connects to it, the transmitter is not gigantic. So here you guys can see the transmitter. You got your power on off. It says power mute, which is on off, same thing. Aux and line button. I've never really put this one up and down, so it's kind of stuck. There we go. Boom. And I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see. And here, same thing as your as your pack. It has the uh, little channel button there so you can sync them. And that's it, it's plug and play. So wherever you get your signal from, you plug this in there. Um, if you don't have an XLR, right? It also has a, I'm looking for my adapter and I'm not seeing it. Hold on. Comes with an adapter if you're uh, output is XL is not XLR and it's quarter inch. You got your adapter, and as you can see, mm, right there, it is mono. It is not stereo. Since I just mentioned it, let's get into that con. It is a con, mono. Depending on your situation, if you have not a lot of aux outs, then mono's good. So, kind of defeats that. But if you're used to using stereo, then that's a con. That one kind of self-explanatory on that but that's literally all there is to it another pro for it is that's a charging port so that means no batteries yes it's not usb-c but whatever who cares it is what it is it can charge and you don't have to worry about batteries so in my opinion that's a win another thing that i really liked about it is this cable so you have your it doesn't come with the little pack for it to charge it but you have your regular USB to a dual micro USB as you guys can see so it has two to one so you don't have to worry about two different cables somebody thought this out very well good job and yeah that's pretty much it wherever you get your signal from you plug in the let me say it right the transmitter put your receiver on and that's it it's good to go the specs I will put down in the comments it I think the range is like 90 to 100 feet something like that I tested it at my church I tested it and I went through like two or three walls and I could still hear it so I guess that's okay it wasn't as strong as it as it normally is when I'm inside the church but I also do have a small church so there's more walls closer together so it kind of messes it up if that makes sense but yeah i love this thing it's so far so good this is i back to the question that i asked you guys is it still relevant 
I believe it still is relevant, especially for small churches, for medium sized churches, or even for a studio setup. I think it works great. Like if you have, if you're doing like a live recording in a studio, just give everybody one of these, they're good to go. It works perfectly. Another application that I think this works perfectly for, especially with my context, what I use it for, is that this, if you do it a specific way, could just be the only way you can, this will be like all your people have to worry about hardware wise. So you don't have to worry about having another personal monitor on the side if you have a digital mixer, maybe a digital rack mixer, you place it in the altar or at the on the stage right and everyone controls everything from their phone through the mixers app a lot of the digital mixers now have two different apps they have the app for whoever's running front of house then they have a monitor mix app like personas like um i think behringer has one um I believe Mackie has one. All of the digital mixers that are out right now have something like that. And that, in my opinion, is eventually probably going to replace personal monitor mixings. I said it. It might, might not. In my opinion, I think it will. Um, I hope it does because that will eliminate a lot of stage stuff. Uh, but yeah, this, this it's a great setup. It will eliminate also having needing, well, all in-ear systems eliminate the, 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 th 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 the necessity for having floor monitors. So, yeah, I think it's great. If you guys like this thing, there's the name of it. You guys can look it up. Um, I'll try to leave a link down in the descriptions if I can. That's it. It's very simple. It's very plug and play. There's nothing fancy about it. It gets the job done, and that's what I like about it the most gets the job done in a simple way quick and easy uh, another pro for this setup is that they're they're very sturdy it's a metal I don't know if you guys can hear it but it is it's, it's metal made of a nice tough metal I don't know if you guys can hear it but take my word for it it is it's metal it's very very sturdy you don't have to worry about um, messing it up if that makes sense like it's very obviously still take care of your stuff but for traveling musicians or people that move around a lot and need a mobile setup this is great this will definitely get the job done also for the transmitter it's a it's a little has a little more plastic but it's a little kind of hybrid if you guys look at it metal plastic uh, the clip is great and it does have this little ring here to secure the fit that is I, that's one of my favorite things about it is that you really got to push it in there but you know it's not going to go anywhere right no movement especially having that little like suction ring on here that rubber thing it kind of seals it in gives it a good uh good connection 